The government has increased efforts in attempts to crack down on those entering the country without proper documentation. In the last six months, 100 people have been prosecuted after some 3,000 airport checks, compared to just one prosecution in the past five years. Uh, the woman with the story is Ashley Maloney, political correspondent with the Irish Daily Mail. Ashley, good morning. Good morning, Pat. Now, tell us the history of these uh, doorstep operations mm. at uh, Dublin Airport. So they have occurred in some guise uh, for a number of years. They were they were ongoing up to 2020. Uh, the previous Justice Minister, Charlie Flanagan, introduced them, but the policy was abandoned when the change of government happened in 2020. And obviously we know air travel and any travel was vastly restricted anyways at that time. Um, but since um, in the last number of years, people will know the number of asylum seekers um, arriving in Ireland has has increased, I suppose, dramatically um, in the last two years and, and so far this year. And so last year, in February 2023, when the now Taoiseach was filling in as Justice Minister, he reintroduced these doorstep operations. And Pat, what they are is um, the Border Management Unit and the Garda National Immigration Bureau um, they come together and they do spot checks where a plane lands in an airport, in Dublin airport, and people are getting off the plane. They look at their passports immediately as they step off the air, aircraft or they request their passport or documentation. Now, anyone who's used to flying will know that usually you get off the plane and you walk through the airport as far as the immigration um, area before your passport is checked. But um, they're doing the doorstep operations to um, make sure that they get people I suppose, as they first step into the country and first off the aircraft to see if they have their passport um, or the correct passport or any valid um, documentation. And this is because there was a large number of people arriving here without passports who were claiming asylum um, on entering the country. Now, it's complete, like every anyone has a right to claim asylum. Asylum is a legal process. And under the Refugee Convention, um, those who are fleeing persecution and wish to claim asylum have the right to do so, even when they don't have a passport. Um, but it is it is illegal to not have your passport. It's against the Immigration Act to arrive here, excuse me, and not um and not be able yeah. to produce your passport. So there's kind of those two things going on. And in this way, I suppose it's the government, um, as we see in my story today, there, there have been 3,040 uh, doorstep operations between January and May, um, the end of May this year. Um, and just to kind of break that down, in the first three months, so January, February, March, there was about 1,500. And then in April and May, there was another 1,500. So you can see there it's a, a conscious uptick. Yes, yeah. but we don't know, Pat, from which level, because... I asked the Department of Justice for further information on this to glean whether they really are ramping up. And they said that they didn't collect the figures. They didn't co collate how many of these doorstep operations they were doing in February or in, in 2023. And they only resumed in February last year. But I suppose, look, it's a conscious um, ramping up of measures we've seen okay. in recent so, so weeks and months since from the every, Justice Minister. Since everyone who claims to be fleeing from uh, persecution of some kind can apply for asylum... And in that process, uh, they won't be prosecuted for not having documentation because we know that people are trafficked, supplied mm. with documentation, which is then removed for, from them before they uh, reach immigration. Uh, others destroy phony documentation they have and others presumably want to disguise who they are and who they've, uh, where they've come from. So you have a situation where some people are genuine asylum seekers, but the people who are prosecuted are those who are judged by the authorities to not have any right really to be in the country and have have come in without proper documentation. And I suppose this is where, you know, the government has been talking about where people do have a genuine claim that they are processed properly and treated accordingly, um, but where those who do not um, are turned around quickly. Um, so this is some part of that happening um, with these doorstep operations. And I suppose, as you highlighted at the top there, so far in 2024, under, you know, the rules which say you have to have a passport when you enter the country, other, you know, 
given the refugee convention stating that you can come without a passport and claim asylum completely legally um, under the Irish Immigration Act where it says you can't have a passport there's been a hundred uh, nearly hundred prosecutions so far in 2024 um, but there was only one in the previous five years so again I mean it's it, there's several I mean there's lots of I suppose factions of our statute factions of our criminal law which are in the on the books but aren't as enforceable or aren't as enforced um, for whatever reason reason and I suppose you see now with this very dramatic increase in pursuing prosecutions under this rule um, it is a way of making sure that people aren't abusing uh, any loophole or and, and just to say you know today is World Refugee Day um, again people have you know asylum seekers there's the refugee convention protects them there is many reasons why they may not have their passport they may not have been able to apply they may have left their home country in haste and not been able to get their documents they may also fear that when they get here and produce a um a passport that they may because they have a passport that they may be deported immediately to the country that they are fleeing so there's lots of kind of um reasons why and then also smugglers they can um take their documents off them on the flight in many cases um but then there's also the Gardaí the minister for justice has increased resources to the Gardaí um and the board of management union you know, for these types of doorstep operations but also for Gardaí to get on um to go to other european transport hubs is what the department say so that they're at those transport hubs when people board the flight to see if they have their passport when they get on um yeah um, and make sure that they do and have they have correct valid um reputable documentation. Now, it's easy enough to be at the bottom of the steps of the plane and, uh, you know, whether there's two exits from the plane or one, or to be at the end of uh, the air bridge and interrogate people as they come across. However, you can't do that at the border between ourselves and Northern Ireland. So doorstep operations are, are very difficult to mount in that situation. Yeah, well, I suppose we know, and actually, I, I've, I've ha- experienced one of these doorstep operations when I was getting off a plane in Dublin Airport a couple of months ago, and it is quite like you, you kind of you hop off the plane, and then you're like, oh, I have to get out my passport, and you're all kind of disorientated because you don't expect it for another couple of hundred meters. But of course, I'm not a person who's worried about that situation. But yeah, as you say, a, a going across um, the northern border, and we know the justice minister in recent months said that the Department of Justice believed that around 80% of those seeking asylum in Ireland now are coming across the northern border. Now, we do know that there's a type of a doorstep operation. I suppose they're not calling it that, but there are spot checks done by the Gardaí on uh, buses crossing the border. Um, and that that is done, um, you know, on, on a regular basis by the Gardaí and has been done for many years. And it's less of a border check and more of a, a spot check mounting a bus and checking um, you know, if people have papers, if they have passports now, of course, you don't need a passport to cross our border. But I suppose if you have a visa um, that doesn't allow you to travel, et cetera, then then there's an issue. And mm. um, so that's what they're checking for. But as you say, it's it's more difficult and we don't have a hard border. So any border check would be inappropriate mm. in that way. But this kind of spot checking is being done. Now, some of the texts coming in, as someone who works in aviation, doing spot checks on the aircraft door is not going to stop anyone. Passports and IDs are not dumped in airplane toilets. The passports are collected by smugglers at the departure airport after the migrants have passed through outbound Schengen immigration control. The smugglers travel with the migrants and take all the documents back, then to be reused. What difference does it make stopping someone getting off a plane and stopping them at immigration? It's a matter of a few hundred metres, I suppose. But uh, the opportunity, I suppose, to get rid of documentation between the end of the steps and immigration with loads of toilets and, um, you know, refuse receptacles well, that there was, and so on. Yeah, there was certainly a narrative that that's what was happening um, last year. As as I said, uh, the increased numbers of people and there was over 3,200 people who arrived in Dublin Airport without their passports in 2023. And that was a reduction from 2022 when 4,968 arrived without their passport. So I suppose measures seem to be having effect. You know, the, these doorstep operations were reintroduced in 2023 and we saw the figure fall in that year. So I suppose, it, you know, it, you could you could potentially link one with the other. Um, but also like as, uh, the, I suppose, the heat or as, as people, uh, as the authorities become aware of different 
issues in the immigration system and they tackle them, then the immigration paths or the migration paths often change. You know, people are in desperate situations. Um, and so, you know, there there is when the narrative focuses on one area that's potentially seen as a weak point, then migration paths often change. And that's kind of what the Minister of Justice was saying when she made the point about 80 percent coming across the border, um, being that, you know, that they've done that they are ramping up procedures in Dublin Airport. I suppose in, in recent weeks, she's also increased the number of, the, sorry, increased the fines for aircraft, mm. the carriers. Now, how um, appropriate it is or otherwise to stop people uh, crossing the border, given that there's no uh, requirement for passport carrying. Uh, this texter said, I was on the air coach from Belfast. We were stopped in Newry for a passport and ID check. Mm. Um, I, I don't know. I presume police forces, border control people are entitled to ask people to identify themselves, or are they? Good question. Anyway, Ashling, thank you very much for joining us. Ashling Maloney, who's political correspondent with the Irish Daily Mail.